It's a yeah. fish. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on now. <laughs> yeah. Say hey, everybody. Oh. Say hey, everybody. Come here. Reach out and touch somebody's hand and make this world a better place. It can. Uh-uh. I don't need your help with that. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, good people. Hello, hello, hello. Happy, what is today? Thursday. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Um, just to give you all a break from the coronavirus, little man and I decided to go live. <laughs> um, also, because I'm going to do a bit of an um, unboxing. So, woo! Um, but yeah, say to the people. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that he's clapping a lot like that lately. Um, another thing that he's doing lately is like taking his cup and just turning it around and shaking it out. So I don't like that part, but the clapping is cool. <laughs> yeah. I use it. What? You use it. Um. Uh huh. And then what happened? Tell him how you was taking a good old nap. And mama, yep, you was taking a good old nap. And mama was doing some work. And then we got a ring on the doorbell. It went ding dong. And then what happened? So you went to the door. Well, mama went to the door. And then what happened? Uh. You went to the door. <laughs> so I had to check out who this was. And say it was the delivery man, Mr. Delivery Man. <laughs> okay, y'all. Well, I'm gonna do this unboxing. So basically, y'all got the problems like, well, <laughs> what kind of unboxing? So basically, um, as you may know, as I always say, as you may or may not know, a few weeks ago, um, I relaunched Miracle of Wine, and um, I may have seen some ads and things like that, and so um. I've kind of been promoting it and stuff like that. So the website's available. It's been up for since I relaunched it. So it's miracleofwine.com. And if you go there, um, it should send you to my like homepage or whatever. And then after that, it should take you to my wine shop at home um, website. I want to basically... So long story short, Miracle of Wine is going to be my brand or my branch off of Wine Shop at Home. So Wine Shop at Home is like... The products and stuff but that um, I'm gonna use for the miracle of wine brand but I have ideas beyond the um, wine shop at home situation so um, I'm gonna call that stuff miracle of wine so as you may notice I've put together some um, some ideas for different um, gift sets and things like that I mean even yesterday yeah, even yesterday I kind of was inspired to um, possibly try take some of these items that I purchased and to try out my hand at making like glitter bottles and other cool um you know diamond bottles and um stuff like that and so if you guys are interested in that type of thing you know hit me up miracle of wine um like I said on all of my websites I have the ability to chat with me on there so you could always hit me up and be like hey tell me more about that you know glitter wine bottle or whatever whatever because you know just saying this cute ways to ask for your bridesmaids and all that cute stuff weddings and all that so i mean yeah um i'm gonna take that wine shop at home brand kind of put my own tweak tweak and twist on it and um yeah so basically well um, so what i have here is um i'm starting to stock up on some some wines, of course. I'm going to stop up on some wines. And then I also um, joined the wine club, my, my own personal wine club. So I've joined it. Um, so I can get, like, wines every month or new wines every month. Because that's the cool thing about Wine Shop at Home. They have, like, artisan wines. And they'll um, they'll um, basically send new ones every month. And so 
Um, as you may know, or like I told you guys a few years ago, I'm like a wine amateur. I wouldn't sit here and say I'm a professional or something like that. But um, I'm interested in trying different ones. And so this was a way for me to do that. Um, you know, so yeah, if you guys want to try different wines and just interested in that, maybe even having your own home wine tastings or something like that, uh, think about joining the wine club or hit me up about a wine tasting or anything like that. But anyway. So I'm about to do an unboxing. I got like two big old boxes here. Um, so I'll show you the boxes before I open them. <laughs> That's the other thing. He uses everything to, um, I guess he learned that from Zumbini, using everything as instruments. Okay. So, four sheets over here so I can at least point them to you so you guys can see. Okay, check it. So, yeah, I got these two boxes here. So, clearly, I'm stacked up for a little while. Um, I believe that this top box here is the um, the wine club box. So, I'm going to open that one first. And then, yeah, this is going to be me stacking up on the, the wines um, and whatnot. And, of course, that's Indre. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Now, Andre, if I put this over here, are you going to just let it sit so I can open this for the people? Hmm? Are you going to let that just sit here so I can open it for the people? Or are you going to try to touch it like you always do? <laughs> hey, good people. Okay. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't touch it, okay? Let it stay right there. So I got some scissors. Um, cool. So I'm going to open up this first box here see what we got. Hello. And this is probably why NJ's over here because he's like, ooh, boxes, I get to play. <laughs> so, um. Oh, so yeah, today was not supposed to be so um laid back and chill. Like I was had some other stuff going on today, but things got canceled because of blah 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 blah, of course. The coronavirus situation. So we just stayed prayed up around here, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's that's all I can say about that. Um, yeah. So check it. It's just a little. So this is just what the top of it looked like. It just basically says the artisan collection from Wine Shop at Home. At Wine Shop at Home, we are committed to the enjoyment of wine and to stewardship of the earth. Thank you for drinking our wines, recycling our boxes, packing materials, bottles, and corks. Come in, Jay. Yes. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Come here. Before you stop it, you, the people is watching. Okay, so this is for the wine club. I guess I'll just hold this if you want. So, it gives me a welcome letter. Welcome to the club. Clearly, I won't read out of that, but um, yes, so it welcomes me to the club. She tells me about some different wine benefits, some, um, you know, what the discounts and all that is. And, um, yeah, it gives me, I can customize my wine delivery. So cool. Let me see. See those, NJ. So it sent me. <coughs> oh, yeah, it's kidding. Wow. Um, it sent me two wines. Did I, I thought I ordered, did I send I can't remember if I ordered the one, uh, the four, or the um, four or two a month. I can't remember. So we'll see. Hold on. Let me just look real quick. I think I ordered. So it looks like I ordered the two, two wines a month, which is cool. And I ordered just white for myself because I like. Um, I know I like sweet white wines. Um, not to say that every wine is going to be sweet. Um, I'm going to try them and see and all that uh, because there's different uh, varietals and all that stuff. And so I did a video about that a while back, back when I was doing this before. And so um, I know for sure that I'm the sweet vinyl type, even though I got something else. I think I got like hypersensitive or something like that. But I'm pretty sure I'm sweet vinyl type. Um, and yeah, and Jay. So I got two wines this month. Uh, one is called the Sunfish Mola Teca. And I'll show you the bottle in a second. And then the other one is Sunfish Malvasia Bianca. 
So those are the two wands that I have this month. Uh, one says that it is for sensitive vinyl types, and the other one is for hypersensitive vinyl types. So, and then it gives you like a uh, recipe on the back to try out. Maybe one of these days I will um, make the menu while I try the wine for you guys or something like that. Um, maybe. Or make the... Um, <laughs> NJ's taking my little papers, so get it out your mouth, son. Okay, so this is the Sunfish Molateca. Okay. So, obviously, this is the brand that they are, I mean, excuse me, this is not, it's not the brand. It, it is the um, flavor of the month. And so, it's the newer wine that came out this month. Thank you, NJ. And then this is the other one, Sunfish Avalsia Bianca. Bianca. I was about to say Blanca. <laughs> so, um, if somebody want, asks, wants to ask a question about any of these while I'm um because, I mean, I can read you more information about these wines if you want to hear it. But if not, then I'm just going to move on and go ahead and open something else. So if you have a question about anything or any of them and you want me to read more information about them, then I will. Um, so I'll just wait and see if you guys want me to do that. And in the meantime, thank you, NJ. I'll just put it over here. Behind me. Next to the cross. <laughs> Speaking of. Speaking of. So... The miracle of wine concept, and see this why, okay, see, because yeah, NJ likes to pick up stuff, round stuff, and like stack them next to each other. He likes to do that for some reason. <laughs> um, so speaking of that, the miracle of wine name, like I know, yeah, people call me miracle, and yeah, it does have a double meaning, you know, NJ. <laughs> it does have a double meaning because of that, but the other meaning is because the first miracle that Jesus did was turning water into wine. So I was like, eh, miracle of wine. That's where the name came from. Um, and I had to explain that to my sis. So, hey, shout out to Nala. Oh, I'm always shouting out to you. Or I'm always calling you out about something you said or did or whatever. But, um, yeah. So that's where the name came to me from. I mean, yes, it has a double meaning because my name is also Miracle. Um, or at least that's my nickname. Um, but, yeah. So that is that. Cool. That is the Wine Club unboxing. Looking forward to trying those. Um, when I, do, I don't know if I'll go live. Maybe I will. I don't know. But if I do try it again. Oh, I was just about to try it again. I was just about to. um, Because, yeah, it, the thing paused. And I was like, okay, I guess it, I have to start the thing over. But you're right. So, hello, hello, hello. Hello, Raina. Thank you for watching. Hello, Tasha. Thank you for watching. Um, so I'm getting ready to open the second box. I know that this is, so the second, excuse me, NJ, excuse me. <laughs> Anywho, um, so I know the second box is because like stuff stocking up, um, you know, so, um, yeah, that's what all of these are. So in this one, oh, so there's one in particular that I've been wanting to try. Um, since I rejoined, and I think it's one of the ones that came out last month. It was last month's featured wine, so I just went ahead and ordered it for myself this go around. Cause, well, one, cause I just started the wine club, so I knew they weren't going to send it to me. And two, I got a good, good feeling that I am going to like it. It is called do 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 Cookie Cellars Snickerdoodle. So, and it is one of the sweet vinyl types, as you guys can see, sweet vinyl types, or it's for sweet vinyl types, people that like sweet wines. And yeah, um, I knew that was going to be me, so I went ahead and uh, ordered me a bottle of it, so I will let you know if I like it or how it is and all that good stuff. The other thing I want to do is like, not to say I'll be one of those people with a wine cellar, but if I could at least keep like, um, like a, you know how they have like wine displays or whatever, like if I can keep like one of those stocks here at the house or something like and maybe be one of those people that entertain and be like oh would you like some wine would you like some water would you like some tea or lemonade yeah. like there's part of me that would love to be that type of hostess um but maybe some um but anyway oh yeah i was going to tell you guys about that stuff too but let me finish the unboxing and then i'll talk to talk to you about other stuff if if time permits but anyway um so yes the wine i was just telling you about 
cookie sellers snickerdoodle is this one right here i love the purple and the gold accents i'm definitely looking forward to trying this one out so i'll definitely let you know how i feel about it i feel like i'm going to like it and i hope i do <laughs> um no nj <laughs> these are for mama <laughs> um cool and so then the other ones that are in the box is oh this is for me i'm just stocking up on them um so i have a table rosé and then which i'm hearing that that is also supposed to be sweet let me take a look yes it's a part of the sweet vinyl type so table rosé uh the table red which i'm pretty sure is not it's for like those tolerant types if i know a little bit about um at least these products even if i don't know much about like the wine but Okay, so I was wrong. It wasn't not for the tolerant. It's for hypersensitive phenotypes. So that's that one. And then the last uh, one of that is the white, which, excuse me, because NJ is climbing all over me. So I guess he thinks that these boxes are for him. Well, I was going to wait and show them that, NJ. <laughs> um... So yeah, this is the table white wines, and it is also one of the sweeter wines, from what I remember, and am I correct? Yes, I am. So I'm interested to try this one as well. Um, if <laughs> No, no, these look like your cup. These are not your cup. Your cup is not going to have any of this in it for a long time. <laughs> you got about 30 some years, son. <laughs> At least that's how long it took for me to get into, like, trying wines. How about anybody else? Have you guys been drinking wine for a while, or is, is it, like, a new development? For me, it's been kind of a new experience. I would say maybe, like, what, how old was I? I? It was definitely after 21. I, had to, I definitely think I was, like, 30 or something before I really, tr like, really got into, like, trying them and liking them and finding what I like and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Stocked up on these. That's Mama's Cookie Seller, baby. And then last but not least, I did also order um, one of these because I wanted to. You know, like when you open your wine and then you just kind of stuff the cork back in and it's like, uh, I mean, you can do that. But then sometimes it's hard to get the cork back in. So I ended up getting this set right here, which is really, really nice and bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, so this could be, make a nice gift as well. Um, but it's like these... Uh, corkers that look like bows thank you nj my goodness son i'm telling you he loves the camera boy um but yeah like they're really really nice um and large much larger than i thought they were like this is this is, could be definitely a like a nice gift so hey um <laughs> i don't know if this is about to ruin this for people sorry but hey if you're getting a gift from me most likely it's going to be from this if if i know that you're somebody that enjoys wine or something like that like because this i mean it's really nice quality uh come here come here come here really nice quality so then yeah when you open up the bottle you can put those in and they look very heavy duty you want to hold this for mama don't don't hang up no goodness, that mine. I can't trust you. I can't trust you. I can't trust you, son. <laughs> um, I see, I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Oh, let me see. I see it. you can open it on the side here. Um, so yeah, so um, well, thanks for watching the unboxing of some of these. My first order since I relaunched Miracle of Wine. Um, I'll let you know whenever I try them and how I feel about them. Yay or nays. I used to do a little show I called Unwind. And I just would basically try the try my wine club wines and um, give my feedback on them. A lot, like how I personally felt. And then I kind of would share with the recipe. I was thinking about really, really getting into that. And really like, for example, cook the recipe that goes with it and try it that way. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to. I was thinking about doing all of that. But, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so I have to actually untie. But. If I untie it, you'll see. Like, these are really nice and heavy-duty. Like, I was not expecting for it to be 
Like I thought they were just gonna be these little small um, things, but they they're really like super. They're heavy and um, very cute. I'm glad I got this one because there's a there's like at least three different styles on the site right now. Um, one of them. So okay. What I'm thinking is people that want like bridesmaids gifts or say, for instance, you want to like ask your bridesmaids to be your bridesmaid or something like that. Like they got the diamond wine corker. Um, then they got like, then I could take like one of the bottles of wine. I could glitter it for you and then put that and make it a nice little set. I can put a um, personalized label on it. And um, yeah, I mean... And I, I mean, I'll do my best to keep it as affordable as possible. Um, the best thing that I could possibly do. I mean, they have other, as you saw, like with the cookie sellers and um, these these other wines these, um, that they sent me for the wine club. They, they have different ones um, and flavors and stuff like that. But I think what will keep costs down is if I take either the table, the table wines, the, um, the white, the red, and the rosé, take those and then like relabel them for you all and glitter them or whatever case is then i can keep the cost down some more and then um stuff like that because i know people want something that's affordable and stuff but at the same time too i like the the convenience of just having this shipped here at the house versus like going to the store or, and like i said i want to be able to keep us keep stock of a nice little collection of wines or something like that eventually like i would love to do that type of thing um one of these old days so this is i guess my start to do that and I'm excited! Yay! Starting my little um <laughs> look at NJ, NJ clapping. Yay! <laughs> Starting my little um wine collection. So yeah, people, so that's what's going on. So let me um switch from the miracle of wine business to um the business business, I guess, to, to Miracle uh Place. Biz naive. So well, one thing I wanted to, to say um to you all when I was thinking about going live. Is that you know I'm just very thankful that um, that things have come together in a way where I was able to get a lot of things done that needed to be done. That's the only reason I was able to kind of do something extra like get the wine club stuff because by the grace of God, like He has provided for me to be able to you know pay bills that I've had to pay, uh, which everybody got bills I know, but like. But if you guys have been following me in my journey, you guys know, like, my situation of, like, only kind of sort of working and, you know, trying to get this business off the ground and stuff like that. So to be able to go ahead and, like, take care of whatever bills that we had um, was a blessing. And even, like, was it yesterday? Either yesterday or this morning, I kind of woke up and got the um, notification that... Um, I got the notification that the um, the business license stuff was due, right? So, um, what you doing, NJ? What are you doing? Um, the business license thing was due. And I could go ahead and take care of that. That wasn't a problem. I just went ahead and did it. Like, I mean, yeah, I got to wait for some more deposits and stuff to come in to make sure that we can, for example, um, we are booked on Sunday, which... I am praying and plan planning to continue to do what I'm supposed to do. Um, so I'm, unless my guests decide they don't want to come, I am going to do the show on Sunday. Uh, um, so that's just that. Um, but yeah, like I'm thankful that um, you know God has made a way for me to be able to do all of that stuff. When I got the notification that our business license thing was due, um, I was able to go ahead and pay it. Um, versus like I know in the past it's been like I, I would let it be late it would be <laughs> it would be um I would have to like reinstate because I would take so long to do it but this time I got the email and I was able to like take care of it over the same day so to me all of this stuff is blessings because you know it, <sighs> there was a time where it's like you would worry about like oh can I pay this bill or can I do that can I do this or that and it's like <laughs> Even now, you see me what you know, my nails done or whatever. Like now, I was doing that for a particular reason. Because <laughs> um, well, basically, long story short, I was supposed to be doing some modeling um, this morning with Mel and Men. So shout out to Mel and Men. Um, but we're gonna reschedule and that's all good. But 
but still, and then I was hoping maybe I maybe I can get some photos with the wines or whatever, whatever. So I mean, that's the only reason. It ain't like I'm out there just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Balling out of control. But um, but yeah, all of that, you know, um, you see me sacrificing with my hair and stuff like that. So, you know, last time I got it done and I was able to repair, you guys remember that patch that was right here? Um, I was able to repair that lock. So that's a blessing. Um you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, God is good, and, you know, uh, I know it's a lot going on in the world and um, and everything, but I'm still going to just, just going to thank God for all the blessings that have happened and, you know, that's what's going on. But he, he is, he is being a little, I don't know if he just want to see y'all or what, but I won't hold up you guys too much longer. I just want to say hello. I just want to share the unboxing with you all, and um, hope you guys have a great day. And, uh, yeah, be on the lookout. Um, I'm going to get crafty and see what I can pull together with this idea about, like, the glitter bottles and stuff like that. But I, I think that would be cute. And um, so, yeah, if you guys want me to do stuff like that, you know, give me the opportunity to be creative and make you guys, like, some really cool um, gift sets. I, I'm excited about that opportunity. <coughs> but even if you don't want me to make some, there's also already cool gift sets that are available on MiracleOfWine.com. Um, I really, really, and I'm, I'm telling everything now cause it's after the fact, I guess, but I really wanted to like get my sister that birthday, that birthday, um, gift box. But I, at that time I wasn't able to do it. And I mean, I could still do it now, but it's after her birthday. So it's like not as, you know, <laughs> um, but anywho, so sorry sis, if you're watching this, I just ruined another surprise. I had so many surprises for her that I wanted to do and wasn't able to do any of them at the time or on that time on that particular time but um yep that's what's going on but let me go ahead and let you guys go because he's getting into stuff and um whatnot but yeah man hope you guys have a great day bye